PowerPoint in Moodle. I'm now going to show you how to upload a PowerPoint file into Moodle for your students to see. The first thing we do is choose Turn Editing On, and that will give us all our little icons and drop down menus. I'm going to plop my PowerPoint presentation into Topic 1, so I come down to Add a Resource and choose Link to a File or Website. Now we have the familiar form, so we type in the title of our resource, which in this case is the Grand Illusions, and we type in our summary just here. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and we now need to find the file that we want to upload. All upload means is to copy a file from your computer to the server, to the Moodle server. And here we choose or upload a file, click that button there. And now we're into the Files folder in your course space in Moodle. And now we're going to upload a file. But before we do that, we have to choose the file we want to upload. And here we click on the Browse button. And up comes the Windows Explorer where you can pick your file to upload. And if you're using a Macintosh, you'll have to use your Macintosh Finder to, to find your file. So we'll choose that file, the PowerPoint file, and now we select Open. And the last stage is to click on the Upload this file button. Now what happens now depends on the size of your file that you're uploading. This is quite a large file, and I'm using uh, not the fastest of connections for this, so this could take some time. So bear that in mind when you're uploading the files that your students will see, because they will have to do the reverse in effect. To see that PowerPoint presentation, they will have to have a fast enough connection that the file doesn't take so long to display. When your file has uploaded successfully, Moodle will happily tell you, file uploaded successfully. Now the next stage is to pick the file you've just uploaded to display in Moodle. And for this, you click on Choose. No matter how much you might be tempted to click on the file name, don't do that. All that will do is pick up the file and show it to you there and then. So click on Choose. And all that happens is you go back to this page and it tells you the file that you've just chosen. Now the next stage is to set up how your PowerPoint presentation is going to appear in Moodle. And the simplest way at this stage is to make sure that it comes up in the same window, but if you're using Moodle 1.8 or above, make sure you click on that button there keep page navigation visible on the same page. Otherwise, um, the PowerPoint presentation just takes over the browser window and you lose access to all your control buttons. OK, if you're happy with that, scroll down the page, ignore this nonsense until you find the button Save Changes and click on that. And voila, you will now see your PowerPoint presentation in its own little window inside your Moodle course. And if all has gone well, even the buttons will work. This does assume that you have PowerPoint installed on your machine, so make sure you do, otherwise your results will be different. Also, if you're a Mac user, this may not actually appear in this window. So bear that in mind. And when you're happy with things, Click on your home page button and you'll see your file there. Now let's just turn editing off to tidy up the page.
Now for your students to see that, all they have to do is click on the title of the PowerPoint presentation. And there we go, back into it. So that is how to install and run a PowerPoint file inside Moodle.